Hey you guys, how are y'all today? Oh boy, we've got something fun on the plate today. So, you know, my son and I, Jordan, we love to travel around and we love to look for treasures and antiques and things that are, that catches our eye, that represents history. We love to learn about things that we find from history. And we've got lots of things that we found. So, uh, but and I wish Jordan would be here today, but he's out on the road working today. So, but we have something special that we wanted to show you that he found yesterday, July the 5th. So 2023 is when he was out on the road and he found these. So he found these two awesome bicycles right here. Okay, they, we don't, I don't know anything about them. This one definitely is all there. It's a swim, I know that. And this one here, um, this is a, uh, it's called, this is called a Western Flyer. They're both girls' bicycles. Um, don't know anything about them, but we have this guy coming, a friend of ours from Austin, that's an expert, and he is going to tell us what we have here. Okay, we purchased these two bicycles, or Jordan did, he found them, and he's really doing well. He's got a great eye for things. So we're gonna see what they're, we're gonna get them appraised and see what they're worth, and I will certainly let you guys know. Okay, that's probably him right there, let's see. Yep, that's Jordan right there. So I'll see you guys real soon, okay? All right, you guys, welcome to our channel. This is my friend Joe, he's from Austin, Texas, and he's gonna tell us about these bicycles, which we know nothing about. <laughs> so wh what do you do? You collect bicycles? I collect bicycles, yes. I, mostly I collect Schwinn. So this one really caught my eye here. Okay. Uh, this is- Let me uh, get out of the way here so sure. you can talk about this one. This is a pre-war Schwinn bike in- uh, By pre-World War II? Yes, sir. Okay. And the reason you can tell is, uh, there's a few obvious things that you can tell. Okay. Uh, give it away. But for one, the drop stand. Okay. Anything after the war had a kickstand. Uh -huh. Also, the rear drop, these, the wheel comes in from the yeah. back side. Okay. And everything after came in from the opposite way. I would never know to look for that. Those are two obvious things. This seat's a giveaway. The long spring saddle, that's wow. the 441, 40s. Wow. This is probably uh, 36, 37 uh, bike here. Also, this tank for Schwinn's, it having these, it's, it's a hanging tank. Hanging tank, so okay. That's, they didn't have any hanging tanks uh, post-war. They were they were bolted together, but these straps here were oh, all wow. the hanging tank. See, I wouldn't know to look for that either. That's awesome. This is a Delta, uh, uh, um, Delta uh, light button or horn button. A horn button, okay. So it would have been maybe a horn mounted up here or something okay. like that, and this would have been wired to the to the horn. This is a Delta Silver Ray light, and those are all pre-war. And and Jordan tried to tell me that this wire runs into here, and yep. the actual propulsion of the bicycle charges it. This one actually would have had an old battery in there. So wow. they wouldn't have had the uh, propulsion. Okay, well, that's also They do have a lot of those, but this one wouldn't have been that way. This would have just been hit the switch and it would have turned the light on. Uh, certainly, you can look here and you can see the original color yeah. down in there underneath. It's blue. real bright blue like yeah, this. Exactly. And, and so, but like it is right now, it's untouched, okay? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm of the old school. I don't touch nothing. Yeah, some people uh, who collect these love them this way and won't touch them. Other yeah. people will clean them up and, you know, get them back to as clean as possible without messing it up. Yes, sir. But right now, collecting used to be for a while, like in the 80s and maybe even the 90s, restorations were a big thing. People would just yeah. start from scratch, re-chrome everything, repaint it. You know, that was a big thing, but nowadays where the, where the hobby is at is, is, is original paint. Yeah. So this is where it's at. Yeah. You see people try to bring them back as much as they can, or they just leave that patina on it. I've seen some, I've got a couple, I've got an old tricycle that's just totally just, it needs restoration. Yeah. But yeah. this right here, the way we found this, it's best to leave it just like Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. I, would, I wouldn't touch it. I might clean it up a little bit. Yeah. I, I would. I'd be afraid a lot of these uh, are hand painted. Like they, oh, have, they yeah. would have people in the factories that did like all oh, the wow. pans and stuff That's like this. Great. And so if you start to go cleaning it, you can you can get rid of some of that paint easily. And Jordan was telling me something about this oily substance on there that some 
turtle oil or yeah, something? Yeah, they, sometimes they put linseed oil on yeah. there with, with, uh, to uh, preserve it as much as possible. Yeah, that's right. That's, well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's probably a good thing to find. Yeah, absolutely. Find one. And that'll clean up, too, if you, if you so desire. But there's also all kinds of, like, nicotine and all kinds of, like, oh, stuff. That, wear and tear. Some and little girl probably rode the fire oh, out Oh, yeah. But this one, you know, the, usually the girls' bikes are in better condition. Because they didn't ride in this hall. They didn't jump ramps. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine how many lives this bike has had and how yeah. many different people have had it and ridden oh, it? Oh, that's awesome. It's, it's really, you never think about it. What would you think that this, like this bicycle sitting right now, what do you think the value of that would buy? Bicycle? It depends on where you're, where, who you have, if you have a buyer for it or Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this bike, like it is, I, you know, he had it listed for, I think it was a hundred and change or something. Yeah. I, and I had to let him know. Oh, yeah. Know. By the way, I wanted to say something right here. Joe is an honest person in America. <laughs> Don't let nobody fool you that they're not out there because <laughs> they are. And I appreciate that. Yeah. My son's honest. Birthday. We didn't know. We just loved them. Absolutely. We look at things. We're saying, "Wow, that's pretty." I mean, I, I bought a shrunken head. No, uh, oh yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, but it, you just grab. We grab. It. We're addicted to this. Yeah, okay? absolutely. So back to the value. Well, I mean, just so if this thing were in like a really, really good shape, and it might even be. It's hard to tell, really, if you get. Into, but in this shape, maybe four hundred dollars, uh, five hundred dollars. It yeah. depends. Now there's other parts on here. Like this, some of these lights, it depends if you park these bikes out, bikes out, yeah. you get more money. Oh, absolutely. Because but why would anybody die? I exactly. I, you could never do that. That would be a travesty. It would be, it would be terrible. If you, what, what, have you, you think that there are bicycles like this that are in pristine? There view? are some. A lot of them were like this. They have the same, and they, they clean them, and they bring them back, and, they get, and they're in beautiful shape. That's the beauty of these bikes is that they don't build these things like they used oh, to. Oh, yeah, these things are tanks, these, man. These bearings in here, you take this, these, these hubs apart, clean them, put grease in them, and then they ride like a brand new bike. That's you know, whereas oh, yeah. we bought a bike last year and left it out in the rain for a couple times, that, that thing's it's destroyed. Done. That's right. You know what I mean? So these, it's a nice. whole different thing. So I bet one in totally pristine condition would probably be worth a mint. It would, and these and also stuff. the one where it's really at too is is the, is the Niz bikes. The difference between this tank and and, and this bike and, and and a boys bike or or men's bike whatever is this one a couple hundred bucks maybe you know what I'm saying and this, a, a, a men's maybe a thousand. Yeah, because they wore them out. They wore them out. Yeah, so yeah. when you find them, and they, a lot of times people would take them, and, and over the years, eh, just throw the fenders away, or throw, the, you know. So a lot of the parts are missing. So you know, you you might find the same bike without the fenders on it, without the tank on it. Yeah. You know. Oh, so, that's beautiful. I love it. We found, I, I, and we knew that. Hey, man, this thing. There's a lot of parts here. Yeah. What about that? Do you know anything about that? I don't know as much layer. about that. That's a Western Flyer. Yeah. It's got. It's a, a kid's bike, but it's uh, yeah. It's got these little shots rods. It's just like the bigger full size, but yeah. it's a, just a For smaller a model. Exactly. Well, that's, that's probably, probably a, a newer model. Well, right. I would say this is probably fifties or sixties, and yeah. you can tell by like. This was really big in the 60s. Like, oh, yeah, the space craft. Yeah, exactly. Up, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So, well, well, you know, I, Joe, I, I, first off, thank you for your yeah, honesty. Absolutely. I appreciate that. And thank you for your wonderful knowledge. My son and I are always learn, wanting to learn about the history of these things. Absolutely. And, and we buy a lot of things like that. And appreciate you coming all the way from Austin, Texas yes, sir. to do that. It's my and y'all make sure and check out Joe, and we'll tell you about him. Maybe post a website or if you do any of that kind of thing. I'll send you some pictures after I, after I get it up and running, and I'll, I'll make oh, yeah. it. I'll, I'll take it out for a spin. I'll That's great. Some. Well, thank you so much, and you have a safe trip back, okay? Right. We'll see you guys later, too, okay? Y'all have a great time.